the most common way of setting up a VPN app is either on your PC or a smartphone. For example, on my Android phone, I could search for a VPN app, install it, choose a country, and voila, I've got a VPN on my smartphone. However, more advanced users might not want to just install it on their PC or their smartphone. They might want to install it on their router. This way, every device on that network has access to geo assisted content which the hardware wouldn't normally support, like Apple TV or even Roku. That being said, setting up a VPN on your router is not as easy as setting it up on your smartphone or a PC. But don't fret, I'm Vamp from Smart DNS Proxy and in this video, we'll show you how to set up a VPN on your router. Before we begin though, you need two things. One, a router with built-in VPN servers. Sadly, most routers don't support VPN by default. So instead, it's better to buy a router that supports open source firmware like DDWRT and Tomato firmware. For this instance, we'll flash DDWRT firmware on our Netgear R7000 router. To find out if your router supports DDWRT, you can take a look at the supported device list in the DDWRT website. Number two, the server IP and login credentials for your VPN server. You can find this information on your VPN provider's website. For this video, we'll be setting up Smart DNS Proxy Smart VPN using OpenVPN protocol. Once you have these two requirements fulfilled, you're ready to install a VPN on your router. Let's begin. Connect to the router using an ethernet cable because wireless is not recommended. Next, open a web browser and load the following address, 192.168.1.1. Step one, flash DDWRT. If you're not already running DDWRT, you need to flash it on your router. If you've already done that, you can skip to the next step. So in your case, I would flash open source firmware like DDWRT. Make sure you download the latest firmware for your router model number and upload it. After that, just reboot. You're not running DDWRT firmware. If you're already running DDWRT, simply just jump to the next step. Step two, change your DNS. Your router most likely uses your ISP's DNS servers. So if your goal in using the VPN is to protect your personal information, then you might want to change your DNS servers. To do that, go to setup and then under basic setup, scroll down until you see DNS1 and DNS2 and then enter the following DNS servers 8.8.8.8 and then 8.8.4.4 208.67.222.222 and 208.67.220.220 Also, make sure to uncheck all three checkboxes for use DNS mask for DHCP, use DNS mask for DNS and then DHCP authoritative, and then save the settings. Step three, disable IP version six. IPv6 information can contain the MAC address of the connecting device, and most VPN providers don't use IPv6. IPv6 is usually disabled by default on your DDWRT firmware, but it's a good idea to double check that it actually is. Just by navigating to setup, IP version six. If it isn't already disabled, Turn it off and then save and then apply your changes. Step 4. Disable firewall. Next, you just need to make sure the connection is seamless. You can disable firewall on your DDWRT router by clicking on security and then firewall and set SPI firewall to disable and then click apply settings to save. Step 5. Set up VPN. Finally, it's about time we set up VPN. So go to services and then select VPN. Set start open VPN client to enable. Enter VPN server address to server IP name. You can find this information on your VPN provider's website. For this video, we'll be setting up Smart DNS Proxy Smart VPN using OpenVPN protocol. Enter port number for TCP slash UDP protocol. You may enter one of the following port numbers like 53, 80, 443, or 1194. Next, for all the other details, make the same settings you can see on the screen just now. Paste the following CA and click Apply Settings. I'll have the link for all these details for Smart DNS Proxy in the description below. Step 6 Reboot your router. Go to Administration and reboot your router. After reboot, it should connect to the VPN automatically. Please wait up to one minute for OpenVPN connection to be established. You can check the connection status by going to status and open VPN tab. You should be able to see client connected success. Step seven, turning the VPN off. 
While you might want to leave your VPN service on 24-7, it actually is very easy to turn the service off without having to reverse every configuration. If you wish to turn off the VPN permanently or even temporarily, you may do so by navigating back to services, VPN and under start, open VPN client section, set it to disable. All your settings will be preserved and you can return to the section to turn the VPN back on at any time. So yeah, that's how you set up a VPN on your router. You do have to tweak the settings a little bit, but the end result is awesome. You not only get privacy, but all the devices that are connected to your router bypass your restrictions automatically. If you've got any questions, well, let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like this video if you did, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. For God's sake. I'm Vantagen Smart DNS Proxy, and thanks for watching.